Berghoff. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
Mazel tov. <laughs> Although we haven't done anything yet. Not yet. Not really yet. Your Brad and Sharon, it is such an honor to stand with you here in what will be your new home. Almost. <laughs> there are just a few things that are going on. Right now, you're facing towards, I know it looks like you're facing towards the strip, but you're facing towards your shalim. Because really, that's where our hearts are right now. We're praying to the center of the universe, the center of the spiritual universe. And the Torah tells us, our tradition teaches, that at this moment, these two people stand together, ready to become one with each other in a totally different way, to join your souls, to become a new creation. The gates of prayer are totally open for all of us as we stand here together with you. Sharon, as you just came up, you circled Brad seven times. Seven times corresponding to the seven days of creation. As if to say that up to this point in your life, your life, you were X. And now you're going to become X plus Y times a thousand million. You're, you are you, but now as you join together, you're becoming new creation together, unified with knowing that the Brad and all that he represents is going to become the center of your universe. And that is the most, the, the, the greatest compliment that any woman could ever pay another man. And it is the most empowering thought, it is the most empowering gesture that any woman can give to a man to make Brad, to make you the man that you truly can be. So, with that thought, as we focus towards Yerushalayim. I'd like to take everyone, everyone together, just close your eyes for a few moments. And let's just, everyone please utter a sincere prayer to the Almighty and ask for what is most special, what's most meaningful in your life, that God should bless all of us with what is truly in our hearts at this time. Take a moment. Okay, I'm not praying for now. We'll get on to it. <laughs> there will be the time later on. <laughs> right now, I'm going to recite two blessings before you, before the two of you really get married. I'm going to recite two blessings. One blessing will be blessing over the wine, and another blessing will be over the sanctity and the holiness of a marriage relationship. But up to this point, you know, your boyfriend, girlfriend. Oh, fiance, very nice. Now you become... Now you're, you're about to become husband and wife. You're about to become one soul. So please respond on name, and then both of you will take a seat with us. Boruch atah adenoi, Eloheinu malach haolam, Borei pri hagafen. Amen. Amen. Boruch atah adenoi, Eloheinu malach haolam, Asher kirishon no bimitzvay sov, vara vitivanu ala reyos, vasa lanu asa risos, viti lanu asa nesios, lanu ayadei chupa vikidushin, boru chatade noi, mikadesh amo yisrael ayadei chupa vikidushin. Ha, ha, ha.
Kip Rad, do you, uh, <laughs> there you go. Bubbles go to our nose. First thing you've had to eat all day. <laughs> you know, both of you are dressed in white, symbolize purity. Both of you are dressed in white to symbolize Yom Kippur. It's a time of, of pure atonement. Whatever you've done in your past is now your past. From this point forward, it's all future and future together. So, Brad, do you have a ring? All right. Oh, very nice. We'll bring our two witnesses over here. <laughs> Ari Zev and Nafsham. Okay, please look at this ring. It's worth more than five cents. Yes. Sure. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay. And um, Brad, this is your ring. It's your ring. Paid for it with your own money. Paid for. Paid for. <laughs> Beautiful. So let's give the flowers to, to your mom. Oh, first, oh, flower lady, very nice. And, um, okay, Sharon, what hand will you wear it on, your left hand? Yes. Is put up your index right here, okay. left and next finger. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> okay, Brad, when you, um, when you give this ring to Sharon, Sharon, when you accept this ring, in the acceptance of this ring, you are accepting to become this man's wife. That's who you're accepting. The acceptance. You don't have to say anything. All you have to do is begin the acceptance of this gift and the acceptance of his love and cherish him for the rest of his life. That's all you have to do is accept it. So Brad, please recite. We'll say the Hebrew and the English. Right over there. Hare at. Hare at. Mikadeshas. Mikadeshas li. Betabas zo. Betabas zo. Zo. Kedas, Kedas, Moshe, Moshe, Israel, Israel. Behold, you are the consecrated to me via this ring, according to the law of Moshe and Israel. Kedashes, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Ah, that was really it. <laughs> <laughs> Now we do. <laughs> really, that was it. That was it. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, how great is this? Okay. But uh, just to continue on and give you some blessings and some other things, beforehand we signed a marriage contract. It was a, it was a contract called Ketuba. Ketuba outlined both of your obligations to each other. And it obligated that uh, the, 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 basic, uh, the basic translation of it is that is that on this day, I'm going to go through, I'm going to read this ketubah, and I'll kind of give a, a little bit of a running translation as we go along. It says, It was in the first day of the week, Sunday, as the sun is going down, we're about to go into Monday. Praise the, the second day. The first day of the week, the 14th day of the month of the Chodesh Av, Shnas Chamesh Salafim, Mishfami, Oz, Veshavah, Asri, Veshavah, Ve'arba, Veshivim, Briyas, Olam, on the, in this year, 5774, the Manin, Manin, Khan, as we count in this place, the Las Vegas, Nevada, Ira Kodesh, in the holy city of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ezen Chasim, Beryl Yosef Ben Avra, Ben Ephraim, all right, that's you. Omar Lachada Vesulta, Shulamis Bas Gershon Alevi, that's you. Have you lived in two Kedas Moshe of Israel? Be my wife according to the laws of Moses in Israel. And I will support you and honor you and cherish you for, and, and, and support you. It's like the Kilos Gavrin and Hudin, the way the Jewish men, the Fafin, the Tarn Mizanin, the Farnesin, the Shneam, the Kushta in the way that Jewish men are supposed to treat their wives and support them in, in every way. And according to the laws of, from the Torah, that I, I will give the, the appropriate sum of money as a guarantor for my, for my actions and behaviors. And you, Shalamis, Bas, Gershon, Levi, 
have accepted all this, into and agreed to become his wife. Madonna Dunya, Denala Slave, Bibeabo, and everything that you've brought in from your father's household, or everything that you've acquired on your own since your father, okay? Whether it's in gold or silver or jewelry, or clothing, or any property, anything you have, love that Beryl, Yosef, and Ephraim, you have accepted as a guarantor to take care of all these things. In other words, you're not just going to take care of your wife, you're taking care of everything that comes with her. And the, the entire package, everything. Hasn't Danan, Zikun Kesef, it's already found you, accepted. It's me, Beryl, Yosef, and Ephraim, you've accepted responsi- uh, responsibility for all this, and added on an additional amount that you're bringing to this, you're bringing them to the table, so to speak. Besides, <laughs> and the rabbis have, have given a certain amount of, of monetary value to all of your efforts, that, uh, that is a, a token amount. But nonetheless, it's, uh, it's symbolic. Symbolic that, that as the man, you, you carry everything on your shoulders now. That's what it means to you now. And it says, I think you are now guaranteed this, because alive, all your side, that's right. You have accepted upon this, your heirs after have accepted upon this. Be kol shafar oreg, the chasim, the kinyin, the aisli, the chos, kol shafar, kol shamaya, the kinyin, the asi, the honor, the mikne, the chasim, the isla, the Christ, the isla, the Christ, whether you have things that already, whether you have other obligations or not, doesn't matter. Kalahon, yon, and achrain, verabin, the far, bin, ahon, stark, soup to down, the dunya day, and this to die. You've accepted upon yourself that the chair now will be your number one obligation over and above everything else in life. And you've accepted upon this, even guaranteeing the shirt off your back in this lifetime and the next lifetime. It's my favorite line in this whole document. <laughs> so, okay, it says, And Kibel, Beryl Yosef, and Ephraim, Chassan Danan, Kachomer, Kol Shtari, Ksut, Sefta, Danagin, Mignais Israel. And you're keeping, you're making a commitment to keep all of the customs of the Jewish people. As the rabbis of blessed memory have outlined for us, this is no joke. This is, this is not a forgery. You've accepted your obligations. Beryl Yosef Ben Ephraim. And Lamaras, to be with, as you've accepted also your obligations, to be a great Jewish wife. It says, Shalom is Bas Gershon Levi. Everything here that is written, explained properly. It's, it's, it's a kosher document. It's acquired by Kol Shari V'Kayam. Everything is set straight. Neum Ariezev, Rav Ariezev Ben Avraham Sanders, Aid. Neum Nachshon Ben Avraham Leopold, Aid. And uh, great mazel tov to both of you. Sharon, this is a very important document for you. I'd like to give this to Brad. Brad, you can give this to your wife. <laughs> okay, and in, and this is first farm, first first shine. <laughs> this is first shine. <laughs> Whatever your name is, <laughs> please give that to your mom for safekeeping. <laughs> and the service is first shine. Way to go! <laughs> We're now going to continue on with uh, just a few more blessings over here. And um, these are our seven blessings. <coughs> these seven blessings really identify the, the greatness of, of what the two of you have accomplished. And I, I just want to say a, a short, short thing, because somebody here is wearing high heels, right? OK, I don't want to be too much in trouble. <laughs> so I want to say, Sharon, you and I have known each other for how many years? Uh, maybe five. Four or five, five years, years, something like that. Moments you walked into Young Israel age. I said, this is a woman of quality. This is a woman of quality. Brad, what you got, guys don't get. <laughs> what you got, guys don't get. Right? And the, 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 the depth of thought and intensity of spirituality, desire to do the right thing, and simcha sachayim, a true joy that you live with. You, that's the makings of a great church woman, the makings of a great church wife, and a great mother for her children. And, and when we heard the story of the, uh, the two of you met and how you wanted to be inspired and how you've grown yourself. And when I'd speak with Sharon and she explained, this is the man, it's a guy who, who I can rely on, who can uplift me, support me. 
who can who can carry me to the next life of my the next part of my life and, and to grow old. Can she explain that to me? This is a powerful statement. Powerful statement because you're getting someone of substance. So it comes with credibility. So we want to stop and we know that, that a chuppah, this is the reason it's open on all four sides. Is, this is symbolic of the tent of Abraham. Because when a Jewish couple get married, you get married not just to run away and be your own little family, but now you're building a Jewish home. And a Jewish home is one that's open on all sides. A Jewish home is one that it's inviting, saying we want to inspire people to greater goodness and greater godliness. And um, with the children that both of you are already bringing in to this family, you know? <laughs> because look at this, they're around, they're having a good time. As they should, as they should, okay? And uh, as, as you build your family together, this is going to be a tremendous blessing. And the Almighty should bless the both of you in the same way that, that God, so to speak, married the Jewish people when he gave the, the Torah to the Jewish people of Mount Sinai. God was the groom, the Jewish people were the bride, and the Torah was considered the ring. In the same way that the Almighty acquired the Jewish people through that gift, the way that the two of you are acquiring each other to build a great Jewish home, the Almighty should bless you that you should build a, a biased Naaman Bisraeli, faithful home amongst the Jewish people. You should be faithful to each other. You should be faithful to the Torah. And you should be faithful to the Almighty. We should get lots of nachas from your entire family. So, with that note, we're going to say a couple of blessings. Jeremy, come on over. Nachshon, let's say the let's say the first two blessings. Yeah, starting with two and three. Okay. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Chalam Shakol Mara Bodo. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Chalam Yotzer Adam. Amen. So beautiful. The next blessings are. Oh, Make a blessing, you always want to hold the wine in your right hand, because right is symbolic of... And, 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 and that, that um, we hold it in our right hand, the symbol of mercy, kindness. That's what we do, okay? Here we go. Boruch atah denoi Eloheinu melech alam Baire pri agafen Amen Boruch atah denoi Eloheinu melech alam Asher yotzar as adam betama Betzelm de mus tavnita Vizkin la numimenu vinyan adiyad Boruch atah denoi Yotzer adam Amen so does he speak of the Rabbi Kibbutz Bonnet, the Sarabbi Simra, Boruchata de Noi, Miss Amea, Tion, Bivane, Samea, Tisamach, Rehimovim, Kesamecha, Yitzir, Began Eden, Mikadem, Boruchata de Noi, Miss Amea, Hassan, Vihala, Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Asher boros hasar v'simcha Chasar v'chala Kilari nadita v'chedva Ava v'yachava v'shalai mevereyus Meirad noileinu Yishama Be'are Yehuda O'bechutzois Yerushalayim K'ay l'sahasai V'k'ay l'sihimecha K'ay l'chasan V'k'ay l'kahalo K'ay mitzal l'chasan Y'mikhubasam on your rim, we stay in the ginahasam. Barbu hatadoi noi, Mesame yahasam, in hakala. Amen.
you close your eyes. Doesn't have already It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're all done. Almost. What's going to happen after this? In just a moment, we're going to have you break a glass. And this glass is symbolic, symbolic end of the Jewish wedding ceremony is all about that we're going to remember right now that the world, has, however perfect you think it might be, However great it is, you've just fulfilled the, the mitzvah of Kedushan, of sanctification. Literally, that's what we call getting married, Kedushan. It comes to the word Kodesh, it means holiness. Because the idea of holiness is that you separate everything out from the world. Basically, Brad, what you did is you stop and you say, Hare Atma Kodesh Asli, you are becoming holy to me. You've said, I've taken all, from all, all the women in the world, I've plucked you out. And then, Brent, and then Sharon, what you've done, as you said, uh, from all the men in the world, all three and a half billion of us, <laughs> you plucked Brad out, and you gave me the greatest compliment ever. It's true. <laughs> the world was your kosher oyster, and now this is it. <laughs> and there you look at this one. So you guys have done this. You've become sanctified, becoming holy, and the Almighty should bless you to great holiness. Tonight, actually in just a few moments, with something called Tuba Av. The date in the Hebrew calendar will be Tuba Av. It is a national, it is one of the happiest days, one of the happiest days in, in the Jewish calendar. It's the day when the Jewish people finally realized that the decree for, for, the, for those that were to die in the 40 years the Jewish people wandered in the desert before we went to the land of Israel, it's when we realized that that decree was finished. It's a day of great simcha, of joyfulness, for the entire Jewish people. It's a day of atonement and a day of elevation. It's a day, it's a traditional day to get married. So with that note, with that note, with the great joyfulness that we have, Brad, I'm gonna ask you to stamp on this glass, break this glass. We will understand, we'll remember that with all the joyfulness that we have, life still isn't perfect. We're still missing the base of Mikdash, the temple in Jerusalem. And as you stamp on this glass, we will say Mazel Tov, with a prayer that the fact that Jewish people are no longer in the land of Israel with the base of Megdash and the Temple of Mashiach, we will pray that the Almighty redeems all of us together and that the joyfulness that you are feeling right now, we should all feel all of the time. Oh, uh -huh.